I need a cigarette smoke detector to check how much cigarette smoke is coming in from my neighbor, from the adjacent apartment, from the adjacent condo. We get many inquiries from landlords and tenants specifically, requiring to detect smoke coming from their neighbors, be it cigarette smoke, marijuana, weed, vaping, and many other substances that one smells with their nose. And me personally, I'm very sensitive when it comes to the nose. So this guy, is a very sensitive particulate matter cigarette smoke detector that picks up particles down to one micron folks one micron up to 10 microns perfect to check various places in your apartment at the bottom at the top crevices gaps windows doors etc to see where the smoke's coming in and it can help you diagnose and fix the problem it can help you obtain the data that you require it can help landlords come to some resolution amongst tenants this can help folks is a special very very special look at this it's a cigarette smoke emitter and i'm gonna just pop it right there and you will see the numbers slowly going up okay and obviously it's right up to the sensor folks it's gonna immediately alarm there's no question about that okay it's gonna immediately alarm and all the numbers quickly increase now again what's unique about this guy folks is that oh dr cos what's different to this than to a regular smoke detector this is a thousand times more sensitive it has laser scattering technology within this little package okay there's the back full of meshed grills so the particles go through and it scatters light laser light from the particles and it picks up from a photo diet dr cos what about the other detector you have this is also a cigarette smoke detector but check it out folks there's no display there's no alarm there's no buzzer this is made this is made for schools it's made for parents to monitor what's going on silent mode situation okay folks no bells and whistles here okay so you get your notifications on your phone a parent may want to take some action or the school administrators may want to take some action if someone's vaping or smoking in the bathrooms or some general area where they should not be our little guy comes in a packet just like this folks just like this very small very easy to use just turn on the button and he starts detecting and again oh yeah by the way i do also get many general common questions when it comes to um you know cigarette smoke detection the main question is dr cos how much after one has smoked i could go in a room and check and use the monitor as a spot check to check if someone smoked or vaped in a room maybe a hotel room maybe mum and dad's house etc etc you get what i'm saying now that all depends on a few variables four main variables the first is the source emission strength which means basically how much cigarette was emitted in the space Second is the volume of the room. The bigger the volume, the more dilution. The smaller the volume, the less dilution. The third is the air exchange rate. Air exchange rate. How much fresh air is coming into the space and diluting those particles, refreshing the air in the volume of space that we're talking about. And the fourth, of course, is time. More time, more dilution, because more fresh air comes into the space. Now, it could be a little bit of fresh air, it could be a lot of fresh air. That third variable, the ACH, air changes per hour, ACH, natural ventilation of fresh air from the outside coming into the space, that is different for different structures. Think of an old house, think of a new house. You could, you get it, right? An old house has more gaps with the outdoor environment, maybe because of old windows, seals are compromised, etc., etc. whereas new builds have a more tighter construction so less fresh air will be coming in for efficiency purposes to keep the hot air within the structure during the winter period that's what happens folks so it all depends these are the four variables that one must think about and usually when people email me dr cars how many hours is that after i could test well i don't i cannot give you that answer i cannot cannot say five hours or 2.2 hours it all depends on those variables and it, it will take me probably eight hours to undertake a modeling situation to get those parameters and put them into my model to then give you a proper educated knowledgeable answer folks that's the way it works so it's sort of an impossible question to answer off the cuff when someone calls or emails but why i'm saying this is to give you some good insight into what i'm thinking and what's actually prevailing and what's going on in the natural world when one vapes or smokes in an indoor structure folks look i hope that makes sense because we get these common questions the other common question is dr cos 
does this discriminate? Will it tell me what it's detecting? Will it tell me it's THC? Will it tell me it's cigarette? Different flavor, mango flavor, strawberry flavor, vape. No, it doesn't, folks. That's an impossibility. This does not do that. There is no technology in this beautiful world we live in that can do that. It, there is not, folks. This detects the particles in the air and gives you a estimate of the concentration of particles in the air that's suspended coming from PM1 to up to PM10, which is the size of particles when one smokes, vapes, smokes cigarettes or weed. That's the effluent. That's the effluent that comes out from that combustion process. Okay, folks? So that's what this is detecting. It is not detecting nicotine. It is not detecting CBD. It is not detecting THC. It's not detecting any of the other cannabinoids or synthetic cannabinoids that are on the market folks and with that said there is no detector that can detect that this does not detect carbon monoxide you don't want to be detecting carbon monoxide this does not detect volatile organic compounds you do not want to be detecting volatile organic compounds although we when one smokes there is small amount of vocs vocs volatile organic compounds that are emitted it's by several orders of magnitude much lower than the concentration of particulate folks and that's not me saying it that's me reading the best research coming from the usa uh, universities and that's their conclusion that's why dr cos is a proponent of using our cigarette smoke detectors and vape detectors for this specific application look folks i have think i have said enough Dr. Kaiser has put a nice detailed blog. You could click on that and read more about the technicalities of this special application. Till then, be well, be safe, and see you soon.